In this Java tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings for you guys to grow your Twitter accounts with Java. The Cash Creator is back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can use Java to grow your accounts on Twitter to the maximum capacity I'm going to show you guys the best settings for you to grow your accounts as quickly as possible and efficiently as possible all right guys so as you can see here here are some of my Instagram accounts and at the bottom I have my Twitter account okay so I'm going to be showing you guys how to grow this account and go through every single setting with you guys all right so First things first, what you want to do is you want to go on the top over here and click on add profile. So once you've done that, you simply click on here, add profile for Twitter. Um, and then you put your username and you put your password in. Um, and then once you've done that, you verify your account. Okay, I've already added this account over here. Um, if I click verify, it will verify it. But I'm not going to do that because it's just a trial account. So I'm not going to verify it for you guys. Um, I'm just showing you guys what I need to do. All right. Um, so next thing what you want to do is once you've verified the account you simply go on the tools section over here um, And then once you've done that you go in the tools section You want to click on the settings for your Twitter account. Okay, as you can see I've clicked on the settings um, and then and Here are all the settings. Okay, so you can have settings for following unfollowing favoriting retweeting contact mention delete posts and full browser experience okay so I'm gonna go you go through the most important of these settings with you guys and I'm gonna show you how to optimize your Twitter and gain as many followers as fast as possible alright so let's go following so what you want to do first of all for your Twitter account is you want to follow approximately between 3 and 10 people per operation the reason for this broad spectrum of 3 and 10 people is so, so Twitter doesn't suspect you of using robots. For example, if you're always following the same amount of people, always 5 people, 5 people, 5 people, then Twitter will suspect you and they will ban you guys. Okay, so have a broad range, even 3 to 15, whatever you guys want. Next, um, after it follows, for example, 3 to 15 in that operation, there needs to be a wait of 30 to 45 minutes per operation, okay? So these are the really, really safe settings. If you want to be a bit more risky, you can decrease this from 15 to 30 minutes or even less, 10 to 20, okay? It depends how risky you want to be. The more risky you are, the more likely you are to get banned. But these are safe settings that will help you to grow efficiently and safely, all right? Um, the next thing here, follow between these times, I'm following 24 hours from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. You guys can choose whatever you guys want. If you want to follow, um, you know, just at evenings, then you can do that, okay? Um, then here, you can add a random sleep time. So after 5 to 15 operations at random, it's going to, you know, uh, sleep for 20 to 45 minutes, all right? So you can copy that also. You can copy these settings and then over here, um, days of the week to operate for example if you don't want it to operate a day you want a rest day on let's say um, Saturday or Sunday for example then you can implement that too alright guys um, the next thing this is very important is the follow limit section alright so um, what you want to do is you want to start really low at approximately 40 to 50 people per day follow only that many and then slowly increase it by approximately 10 until you get to your max amount okay if you want to be really safe, I wouldn't follow more than 200 people per day. But if you want to, you know, follow a lot of people and get a lot of followers, you can go the risky method and, and add 500 here so you can grow as fast as possible. But don't forget, it is risky potentially. Um, and you may get a phone verification, for example, from Twitter. All right. Um, so that's what that section does. Um, and then over here, this is another important section. It's the user filters section. So, for example, you know, for some of my subscribers that are in Spain or elsewhere around the world, um, you know, it it it's, doesn't matter as much to you. But if you're living in England and you have a business, for example, with clients in England, um, you you could take this. So you only follow people that have English characters. So you know, if it's someone abroad with like Arabic in their bio or username. You don't follow them. 
because you know they probably won't be interested in your business that's in London or Yorkshire for example alright guys um, another thing I like to do is always check this box user has a profile image um, and then for example to make sure they're active um, you can say user has tweeted or liked within the last you know 90 days or you can reduce it to 30 or whatever okay um, and then also this make sure you do not follow private users because they're more likely to only um, accept requests from you know um, people that they know so if you follow if you uncheck this if you check this for example sorry um, then you can only follow people with public accounts and they'll straight away accept your follow because it's on public alright guys um, so this is the follow settings so the next thing that you guys want to do is you want to click on the follow sources over here this is incredibly incredibly important what this section is is basically the place that you will be following people from so um, these are the sources for the people that you are going to be following okay so what you want to do is you want to check this box over here it's really important because you need to be following the right people so you know they're already interested in your niche so whatever page you have for example if you have a page in the fitness niche you want to be following um, the followers of a target account that's already in the fitness niche this is so that you already know those people are interested in fitness and they will also like your page that sells fitness products or promotes fitness videos or whatever okay so you know what you have to do is you have to go on the you know Twitter profile um, find a really popular fitness page that promotes fitness stuff copy it and then paste the URL here okay once you've done that you simply click on account add account URLs um, and then you'll be able to follow people that are already following that target account that's all you have to do if you want to follow by keyword search um, you can do that you know get keywords that are already in that niche for example um, and just do similar stuff to that but this is the most important one follow followers of target accounts that's what I would do um, and then the results section um, as you can see over here those are the results of people that have been following with one of my practice accounts alright so the next one is the follow back tool this is basically when someone follows you you can you know start this tool if you want to and then you know between 45 and 90 minutes of them following you you can also follow them back if you turn on this tool or you can decrease the time or increase it if you want alright guys <coughs> so the next thing that you want to do is this is again another important one is the on funnel tool you have to make sure this is on so um, it's not just that your followers are increasing but you're also unfollowing people after a certain amount of days so it doesn't look like you're just following a huge amount of people okay because um, that's what robots do and you don't want Twitter to suspect you of being a robot or you know you might get a ban alright so the next thing that you're gonna do is click over here make this three days so um, you're gonna unfollow accounts after three days um, again, you can change this however you want. I would put 45 to 60 minutes before each operation. Um, okay, um, and then I want to unfollow between one and four people per operation. And then after, um, you know, after you unfollow that many people, um, you know, after you unfollow, you know, each operation, it's going to wait between 45 to 60 minutes. All right, guys. So again, I've made the unfollow time between. 12 a.m. to 11:59 p.m., which basically means it runs full time. Um, and then these settings are also the same as the follow tool. You can change them if you want. The next thing over here um, is this. You can change the unfollow limits if you want to, and then you can also increase them. So what I would do first of all is I'd start really low. So I'd start again between 40 to 50 unfollows and then increase it daily with around 35 until it reaches to 400 all right this is really important you want to start really slow what's this sorry that's an accident 40 uh, 30 to 40 okay you want to start really slow and then slowly increase it increase the unfollows so then Twitter does not suspect you all right guys um, again that's really simple this section um, and then what you want to do is you want to click over here onto the favorite tool So this is basically a way that you guys can favorite other people's tweets. Okay, this is very important as well because um, You know you don't want Twitter to suspect you you want not to normalize all of your actions to make it look like it's a human So you can use this favorite tool to favorite people's tweets Okay, um, again, just copy these settings in you want to you know favorite 
which is the same as a lag, lag between 1 to 7 pulse per operation and after 45 to 90 minutes, um, you know, of, you know, to start a new operation, you want to wait between 45, 45 and 90 minutes after you've um, done one operation, okay? And uh, one operation, as you can see here, is between 1 and 7 posts that you've lagged, alright? Again, this is exactly the same. You, you can change the days if you want to, and you can change the times if you want to. You can already decide how to do that. Again, um, if you scroll down over here, here are the like limits. Again, I'd start really slow, so around 20 to 30 likes, and then you want to increase it daily by 10 until you reach a maximum of, let's say, 400. Okay? Um, and that's very simple. Um, and then over here, here are the tweets filters. I would make only liking tweets that are three days old, so it looks like you're a you know fresh account that's updated with everything, and you're liking stuff that's new and popular, not stuff that's a bit older. Okay, um, and then tweet, you want the tweets that you're liking to have between let's say zero and five thousand retweets, so you know that they're popular tweets. Okay, so you're also liking them. All right, um, and then the follow sources, you can choose this yourselves. Okay, so um, if you want, you know, again, another popular page, so like posts from specified accounts followers. So if you're again in the fitness niche, you want to be liking posts, posts from the followers of a certain page. Okay, so you find a popular fitness page, you can like the posts of the followers of that page. So then they'll see that your page has liked it and then they'll be interested in your page. They'll click on your page and they'll be like, what's this? And then if you have some interested fitness products, that you already know they're interested in, you might be able to sell them, guys. Okay, so that's how it works. That's what I do. Live posts from spe specified accounts followers. All right. The next thing is the retweet. Again, you can copy these settings that I have over here that I'm about to show you guys. You want to retweet around five times per day. You don't want to be retweeting too many, otherwise you look like a robot. So you want to do it full time, only around five times per day. Okay. Um, and this is the times that you'll be retweeting, okay? Um, and you can randomize it as you please, all right? So if you scroll down here, again, here are the filters, um, and you can change these filters as you please, okay? There you are. So that is the retweet section, um, you know, and you can change it how you feel. You can read this, it's very self explanatory. Um, and I'd have this if I have a page in England, a business fitness business in England, I'd skip this one. Um, so I'm not retweeting stuff that's not English. The next thing is the sources. Again, um, this is quite important. You can add your own keywords. So if you're in, I don't know, whatever niche you're in, if you're in, you know, you have a pet shop, for example, you can have keyword search. So pets, for example, or whatever you want. Okay. Or like the last one for favorites. What you could do is you can look through this list and you can find um, retweet people from a provided list, okay? So again, you could find this list over here. You could add an account. So for example, um, you know, add different URLs, accounts of a URL, and then, you know, you could tweet that person's accounts okay so if it's a popular account you could re retweet their account okay um, okay so it's very very simple okay that's the sources section there you are all right um, and then the contact section section this is another very important section okay so you I've already talked about on Instagram how you can use the contact tool and it's pretty much exactly the same what you do is you extract users so you go to the followers of a certain account that's in a similar niche to you and then you can start messaging them and say hey guys um i know i think you're interested in fitness or i think you're interested in football please check out my account because i think you'll like it um so you can extract people extract followers of a pop popular football page and then message those people if you have a twitter account in the footballing niche for example all right um, I'm not going to show you guys exactly how to do it. It's quite simple and you can check out my video. I'm going to leave a link in the description below that's going to show you guys um, the video that I showed you to how to use the contact tool in Instagram because it's exactly the same here. So I'm not going to go through this, but it's really simple. You extract the users, 
then you click on use extracted users you write your message over here um, and then you simply start sending messages by clicking on the sending message and then turning on this green button okay um, and and then yeah it starts sending the messages so that's quite simple um, and then the next section over here is the mention okay um, this is a section that I don't think is really popular you don't really need to use it so I'm not going to go through it with you delete posts as well you don't really need to delete posts so if you post a tweet or something you know just keep the tweet just try and increase your account your you know number of tweets as much as possible so it looks like an active page and people want to follow it so I wouldn't be using this um, and there you are that is the end of my video this is how to use Javi with Twitter I hope you guys now understand how you can use Twitter with Javi to grow your accounts automated whilst you're eating drinking or sleeping in an automated manner and grow them as efficiently as possible if you did enjoy this video please don't forget leave a like Leave a comment, tell me what was good, tell me what you didn't like about the video, um, be honest with me with your criticisms, and don't forget, subscribe to the Cash Creator, guys. This is me signing out. Peace out, guys. Take it easy.